Hey guys, it's Mike Chen here in Orlando, Florida. Usually I check out McDonald's from around the world to see what they offer. This time, didn't have to go quite as far because this McDonald's here is gonna be different than any of the ones I've visited in the US so far. Welcome to Epic McDonald's. This is the largest McDonald's in the world by area and it offers something pretty unique. And I'm not just talking about this fish tank. This McDonald's has a pizza menu and a pasta menu. Also, a full-on McCafe loaded with amazing looking desserts like apple fritters, cinnamon rolls, chocolate chip cookies, different flavors of ice cream, cakes, cheesecakes. And when you're done eating, you want something else to do here? There's a giant McDonald's playhouse and a full-on arcade. How cool is this? All right, all day breakfast. You can build your own omelet. You get a Belgian waffle. Let's do this. Belgian waffle. Ham and cheese French toast. Sandwiches, here we go. Build your own pasta. You can select your pasta. It's ravioli, linguine, tortellini. Oh, let's do ravioli. Different types of sauces. Olive oil and garlic sauce. Let's do another one. Let's do one with linguine. All right, build your own pizza. Pepperoni. Green peppers, mushrooms, pineapple. Sure. Oh no, I wanted this chocolate corruption cake. All right, let's try McDonald's cheesecake. Well, this is gonna be exciting. Plus, they have a whole cooking area here at McDonald's, so you can see them cook their food, including your pizzas, your pastas, all cooked right here. I am really looking forward to my first ever McDonald's pizza. First two things that arrived hash browns with the custom omelet. Then the pepperoni pizza, mushrooms, green peppers, pineapples, bacon bits on the pizza. Oh, more just arrived. French toast sandwich with ham and cheese. Of course, a hash brown on the side. And Belgian waffles, whipped cream, chocolate chips, blueberry. Okay, half the food is here. First of all, I just wanna say, people are so nice here. They're coming by the table. Um, the staff here are just asking, if I want everything all at once, where I want to eat some stuff and then have some stuff wait, which is probably the better idea because there is a lot of food here. It'd just be nice to have everything fresh. First of all, let's try the omelet. I mean, the ingredients look really good. The cheese looks melty and stretchy. Egg looks delicious. Smells fantastic. That's a delicious omelet. What I should have gotten was uh, some spicy sauce up. Oh. Nice heat from the jalapenos as well. But the omelet is delicious. Egg is fresh, ingredients again is good. It just tastes like a fresh omelet you get from anywhere. This is awesome. I want to get to the Belgian waffle before this thing dies on me a little bit. Just first impression, the outside is supremely crispy. There's a great design as well. Melting chocolate chips on top, whipped cream blueberries. Dows this thing in syrup. Oh wow, chocolate chips are nice and melty. Look at that. Oh wow. I got you. Oh wow. You say chocolate, yeah? For the yeah, yeah, chocolate cheesecake. Thank you, thank you. All right, my pasta just came, but let's try this first. This is freaking awesome. Perfectly made waffle. Nice and toasty on the outside. Inside, beautifully soft. I like my waffle doused in syrup and a little pop in blueberries. Mm. Along with that melted chocolate, so awesome. This definitely beats out the regular McDonald's pancake platter by far. This is so nice to have. All right, I've been dying to try this out. They use giant pepperoni. This pizza has been sitting around for about five to 10 minutes. So the cheese is a little less melty now. I promise you, this is a delicious pizza from McDonald's. 
this is really, really good. First of all, super thin, toasty crust. Nice amount of char on the back. That brings a slight bit of bitterness to balance out the sweet pizza sauce. The ingredients are fresh. I like pineapples on my pizza. I do. This thing is sweet, spicy, a little crunch from the peppers. The crust is the best part. I mean, the crust is, dare I say, pretty perfect. You can taste the fact that this came from a brick oven, which it did. I really didn't know what to expect with a pizza here from McDonald's. But I'm gonna say if you're here, get yourself a McDonald's pizza. I mean, sure, you can get yourself a Big Mac, Quarter Pounder, all the traditional stuff, but if you're at this McDonald's, try something different. I promise you, you're gonna like it. This is a French toast ham and cheese sandwich. Pretty much like a Monte Cristo sandwich. Look at that. All right, this is just okay. I think it might be better with some syrup. Yeah, now this looks right. Mm. If you order this sandwich, you have to ask him for syrup. Otherwise, I, feel, I don't feel like it's sweet enough and the French toast just gets a little heavy. With the syrup, French toast shines the way it should. Little sweet cinnamony, very nice texture, especially around the outer edges. Melty cheese inside, good amount of ham. Gotta have the syrup though. All right, my pasta dishes are here. Go pick those up right now. There we go. Pasta is at McDonald's. And it looks like fancy pasta too. I got the ravioli and garlic and olive oil. Linguine and meat sauce. Both comes with a little piece of bread. Ravioli, get this one, and tomatoes, jalapenos. Look, some basil leaf here as well. Look at that. Mm. Garlic, olive oil, sauce is good. Ingredients are good. I love the fact that, look at this, to give you so much garlic. This is all roasted garlic here. The garlic flavor is off the charts. Honestly, I just went to Olive Garden um, last week. I think this pasta tastes better, especially with the roasted garlic. Oh, a little bites of bacon too. That's delicious. Trying this one, little cheese on the meat sauce. I put a little Canadian bacon. Again, jalapeno, green pepper tomatoes in this pasta as well so a lot of sauce on here very meaty so it looks like little bits of sausage in the sauce the sauce is a little more tomatoey than i would have liked and i think the pasta could have been a little more al dente not my favorite not bad either i think definitely the best sauce here to get is going to be the garlic last piece of dessert they got this piece of chocolate cake that looks awesome but today only the cheesecake look at this and they put any drizzle over you want like strawberry caramel i chose chocolate that is a luscious creamy piece of cheesecake wow that's freaking delicious. This might be the best McDonald's I've been to in the U.S. I mean, everything, first of all, quality. From the sandwiches to the pizzas to the pastas to the Belgian waffle, it's good stuff. I'm really surprised by the pizza. I didn't think it was going to taste as good as it did. I guess I shouldn't be surprised seeing the, the brick oven. Like, they're actually making all the stuff fresh. Pasta-wise, again, ravioli took me by surprise. The omelet was good. The Belgian waffle, again, I highly recommend that over the pancake. I mean, I'm happy when, when I have good food, and I'm happy when traditional fast food places, like, they, they do things that are different. And this place is definitely different. So uh, I'm going to eat up and uh, got some arcade tickets to win upstairs. Ooh, I think it's gonna storm today. Anyway, uh, dinner time. I'm actually trying to go to all the hot pot places in Orlando. Next stop is Volcano Hot Pot and Barbecue. I actually tried to go here the first time I was in Orlando. I think maybe the conveyor belt was broken, that's why I didn't. Anyway, I remember now, the first time I came, I walked like halfway in. Uh, then I saw the conveyor belt was broken, so I left. I really want to go to a conveyor belt hot pot. Back again, let's try this. So, different types of soup bases, herbal, spicy, pork balm, tomato miso tom yum. Oh, Tom Yum's good. 
Like, really good. The spicy broth is not bad. Tom Yum, I think, might be the best soup base here. I love barbecue hot pot combos. It just satisfied both cravings. I still remember the earlier days where you had to choose between hot pot or barbecue. That's always a really difficult decision. Now, one last thing to worry about. So for the barbecue, got marinated beef, all marinated beef, and some pork barbecue. That looks really good. The, the thing I noticed about this place right away, the meat is cut ridiculously thin and it's fatty, which is always a good sign. This place has a lot of stuff on their buffet, including Yotel, Chinese fried dough. This is one of the most underutilized hot pot ingredients. I've seen a lot more people showing up to uh, hot pot places telling them it's their first time. I love it. I love it that hot pots get more and more popular. Try the fried dough next time if you haven't done it before. This is the ultimate hot pot ingredient that's not meat. It soaks up the broth so well. Don't cook it too long so it still retains a little bit of crunch. It's so good. Like I said, I love how thin the slices of beef are here. And I love how fatty it is. I almost exclusively go for fatty beef in hot pot. It's so good. And plus it makes your broth thicker, richer, better for the end when you do your noodle slurping. Well, I think this is just cuts of bacon with chilies all over it. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. And that's good too. Whoa. That barbecue is so tender. Wow, you barely had to chew that. Oh, that definitely caught me by surprise. That's extremely, extremely tender. My pot just started to boil up. The meat is so good. Broth is really awesome as well. I feel like hot pot places, you don't need to have the best quality of meat, but as long as you cut it really, really thin, it's just gonna taste better than most. And this thing is thin, it's got good amount of fat. When I was in Dubai, one thing I didn't have was hot pot. So I've been eating every single day since getting to Orlando. I love putting a whole plate of meat in. The noodle and egg part of the hot pot meal is always the part that I look forward to the most. I really like this place. So far, I think the meat quality is really good because they cut their meat super thin. Variety is awesome. Broth, highly recommend the tum yum. The spicy broth is a little bland, but the tum yum's definitely got a ton of flavor. I think next time we come, I'm just gonna really focus on the hot pot. So all the places I've went to in Orlando so far, I think the hot pot plays with the best broth. It's definitely juicy pot. If you get the Tom Yum Sichuan combo, the broth is amazing. It's spicy, super flavorful. This place, like I said, Tom Yum is good. Meat's amazing. I love super thin fatty beef. And they got plenty of that. Oh, that's so good. There's so many good hot pot places here in Orlando. And today is gonna be our last day here, heading back to New York uh, and then to St. Louis. And then it's gonna get a little interesting. I'll see you tomorrow. So it's about 9 p.m. at night. Um, still in Orlando. This, I feel like this bad luck with airlines continues. Today, got to the airport at the flight supposed to leave at 12. Got on the plane and sat on the runway for about seven hours and before they canceled the whole flight. But on the bright side, a new Citron restaurant. This place is called Spicy Girl. It's a lot of food, but first time we're eating today. So got fried pork intestines. Mmm. Good. Always get this spicy and sour fatty beef soup. A little sweet and tomatoey flavor is good. Eggplant is very good. I'm really excited about this spicy and sour beef noodle soup with mum bean noodles. Not bad. I think the best thing is the pork intestines though. Pork intestines, eggplant. This I heard is super authentic. Came in here, all Chinese people. Not too bad, but I'm starving. Gotta dig in. See you in a bit. Mm. This is great, thanks so much. Thank you. This place, awesome Italian ice and ice cream. 
Oh, great play. Oh, this place, they basically combined ice cream and shaved ice. That's amazing. Also, update, uh, can't fly out of here for the next couple days just because th there's no flight. Also gotta go get some rest. The whole time on the runway, like about six hours, they gave us one cup of water. So severely dehydrated still. So gonna hydrate and go to bed. Good night, guys. All right, let's try this again. All right, finally got here. Was in Orlando for two extra days waiting for this flight, but finally got here. Anyway, this trip, gotta see my parents, a lot of stuff to take care of. First, let's find some food. Oh, it's good to be back. Wanted to go eat, but it's super late after the flight delay. Still have some cookies and cheeses from the Delta Lounge, so I'm gonna stack on this, go to bed, and uh, see you guys for breakfast tomorrow. Walking around flushing, trying to find something to eat. I miss doing this. There's so many new places now. There's dumpling place, there's a spicy and nummy duck place, new hot pot place. Right next to another spicy and nummy duck place. Wow, this place just sells sauerkraut fish. You know what? I haven't been to the food court in a long time. Let's go check that out. New York food court. Ugh. I haven't been back in so long. This is new. Mr. Easy. It's a dumpling. It's like a dumpling noodle place. I remember this place. Super, super good place. That has the that has amazing dry noodles. Oh, I'm gonna get that. Oh, a bakuti place. That's about to open up. That's cool. Oh, check that out. Fat cat flatbread. Oh, this looks good. I never had this before. I saw this in Korea. I've never had it. Oh, this smells so good. This might not be everyone's cup of tea. This is a very classic Chinese dish. It's basically duck blood soup. And this place cooks it with some fried tofu, some pieces of duck meat, this is the duck blood right here. It looks like a brown tofu. Um, fen si. So these are mung bean noodles here. And it's in a creamy bone broth. Again, if you're not into blood soup, you may not like this, but it's absolutely delicious. Wow. Mm. That is so creamy and smooth. They just taste like the most deliciously creamy, smooth bone broth and toss some chili oil in here, Chinese vinegar. Ah, even better. I think my other noodles are ready. This I'm really, really excited about. Little egg drop soup. This is a childhood favorite of mine. Lu mein, which are basically steamed noodles. And these are gonna be unlike any noodles you've ever tried. Like super fluffy, they're dry noodles. Usually cook with uh, some green beans and some pork. They're dry noodles, but the texture, if done right, they're just so scrumptious. Mm. This is the only place I ever ran into in New York that sold this noodle. And you have to use these kind of flat green beans for it. And the noodle, the sauce is soy sauce based, so the umami kick is just amazing. Oh, I'm just trading off between that and the duck soup. After spending so many years in New York, every time I come back here, it just feels so familiar and nice. Oh, that's good. Also, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've been talking about recommending HelloFresh for I think about three, four years now. And if you are looking for a meal kit, trust me, this is the one to get. First of all, biggest reason I recommend them, they are absolutely delicious. Over the years, never had a single bad recipe. Everything's delicious, which makes sense because HelloFresh utilizes produce that goes from the farm to your door under a week, which means right now their spring menu features the freshest flavors. Also, it just saves time. Like I hate it when I come home and I have to cook a meal I know it's gonna take me like an hour, but HelloFresh got a variety of quick and easy recipes that minimizes your prep. Cleanup is easy. I mean, cooking is fun. Cleaning up, 
Not so much. And because it's pre-portioned ingredients, that means less prep time and less food waste. And also, trying to be fit, they offer veggie, pescatarian, fit, and wholesome meals to help you stick with your goals. Again, if it's not delicious, I'm not gonna recommend it to you guys. It's really delicious. So if you wanna give this a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code CHEN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes and get free shipping. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.